Matthew. <laughs> I'm in my attic and we're looking at the weird and wonderful this morning. I've got both in front of me in one go. I want you to imagine that you have to make your own house out of chewed up wood. <laughs> Not just for you, but for at least a thousand other fellow workers. You can mix the wood with saliva and then you've got to bring it back to this spot and make your own home. <laughs> and it's the largest one I've ever seen. It's a whopper. It's two feet wide and three feet from front to back. And the front, the entrance at the other side of where I'm facing. So I'm in my attic and you can see the roof rafters and in a normal wasp's nest, which is what this is, the common wasp, there is just one pillar going from the top of the nest through to the bottom to support all the cones. And in this nest, it's just like the Acropolis, the entrance. There are 10 pillars going up through the nest to the roof and down to the floor. And the wasps started off as a little golf ball sized nest and over this summer it's grown and grown and grown to gigantic proportions which is what makes it weird <laughs> and each of the little layers looks like seashells laid over the top of each other and each layer of the each shell is from a different wood so you have a multitude of colors from birch oak ash all the different pieces of rotten wood that the wasp chewed up mixed with saliva and then stuck back to make this monumental nest I'm going to move although I'm sort of like a sardine in a in a tin at the moment squashed between the rafters I'm going to see if I can shifty up just a little bit closer a little bit of scraping and scratching going on and there we are you might be able to see the different layers of the nest that the wasps have brought back all the different layers of wood it is absolutely astonishing it's one of the wonders of nature so what do we do when you've got them in the garden or in your house you go and reach for the wasps nest destroyer and yet it's so unusual to see one like this normally it's in a rabbit hole or in an old mouse burrow or in a hollow tree and you don't ever have the opportunity to witness such a fantastic structure as I said it's monumental the wasps have all gone they've all died the queens are now in hibernation but they've left this legacy behind them which just makes you stop and think about what we share the Norfolk countryside with it's fantastic